स्वागत है तुम्हारा आज खुलेंगे मैथ्स का पिटा पहुँचाएंगे रैशनलाइजेशन का टोलर मैं हूँ अमित मोदक सो राइट डाउन ऑन द चैट बॉक्स ढोलक सो द वाइब्स ऑफ द साउंड ऑफ ढोलक विल मेक यू एनर्जाइज टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन सो स्टूडेंट्स आज के सेशन में हम लोग क्वेश्चन करेंगे रैशनलाइजेशन के विच इज ऑफ ग्रेड सेवन एंड एट Now, what is this rationalization? So, if we have any expression, if we have any mathematical expression where we find the two terms with one of the term out of which is a radical. Now, what is a radical? Radical is basically radical expressions involving the roots, which is also called as your nth roots. Like we write square root, cube root. Okay, so nth root, and out of which this symbol is called as the radical symbol and the number or any letters being inside this radical symbol is called as radicand now in order to eliminate this from our denominator in a math in a mathematical expression what we do is we multiply with the conjugate of the denominator and that process is called your rationalization let's say for example if we have 1 upon x plus under root y so how we will just eliminate it we will just multiply with the conjugate conjugate becomes x minus under root y divided by x minus under root y so this is how the process goes on where we multiply the denominator with the conjugate of it and we eliminate the radical part from the denominator and this process is called as your rationalization so let's move on and start our first question if x equal to under root 5 plus 2 then x minus 1 by x equals agar hamare paas x equal to under root 5 plus 2 hai to so x minus 1 by x kya hoga chalo do it fast and write the answer on the comment box what answer you are getting all right if your answer is b then super pentabolous amazing so how we can get the solution of it let's see so if x is equal to under root 5 plus 2 then x minus 1 by x is asked so x we have 1 by x let's let's find x is given as root 5 plus 2 So one by x would be one by under root five plus two. So we will rationalize it under root five minus two, under root five minus two. So what we get is under root five minus two divided by here it is a plus b into a minus b. We can use the identity a plus b into a minus b, and that we all know a square minus b square. That is under root five square minus two square. So that will give us under root 5 minus 2 by 5 minus 4 that gives under root 5 minus 2 by 1 so we have got 1 by x as under root 5 minus 2 okay now x minus 1 by x so x is under root 5 plus 2 Minus of under root five minus two, so that will give us under root five plus two minus under root five minus minus plus. So this get cancelled. Ultimately, we get answer with four. Very good, students. Okay, let's move on to the next question. If x equal to two by three plus root seven, then x minus three whole square would be how much? click on the pause button solve it and then you verify the answer after solving by me all right students let's start solving this x equal to 2 by 3 plus root 7 is given now we need to eliminate this radical form 
so what we will do is just we will multiply with the conjugate of it so what we get is 2 3 minus root 7 divided by 3 plus root 7 that is a plus b a minus b so a square is 3 square minus root 7 whole square now 2 into 3 minus root 7 in the bracket 3 square is 9 minus root 7 square is 7. So, what we get is 2, 3 minus root 7 by 2. So, 2, 2 gets cancelled. So, what is left with 3 minus root 7? Now, we can just put it simply x minus 3. So, x we have got as 3 minus root 7 minus 3 whole square. So, 3 gets cancelled out. So, minus root 7 whole square minus minus becomes plus root 7 whole square becomes 7 and this is right answer. So, if you have got 7 as answer, super fantastic students. Let us move on to the next question. 1 by under root 9 minus under root 8 is equal to is our question number third 1 by under root 9 minus under root 8 is equal to all right let's solve this question so 1 by under root 9 minus under root 8 now this can be written as very simply under root 9 we all know it as 3 minus under root 8. Let it be under root 8. Okay. So, we will just do the rationalized part plus under root 8 plus under root 8. So, this becomes 3 plus under root 8 divided by 3 square is 9 under root 8 square, right? A plus B, A minus B. So, it becomes 8. So, simply what we get 3 plus under root 8. But this is not our answer. No problem sir, what we can do is we can write under root 8 as 2 root 2. How? Under root 8 can be written as under root 2 into 2 into 2. So, we have a pair of 2. So, we can write 2 under root 2. So, therefore, the right answer is 3 plus root 2. Let us move on to the next question. If 5 minus root 3 by 2 plus root 3 equal to x plus y root 3, then what is the value of x and y? a nice question. All right, let us solve it. 5 minus root 3 by 2 plus root 3 is equal to x plus y root 3. Okay. So, Let us solve it. 5 minus root 3 by 2 plus root 3 into, we will just rationalize it, multiplying with 2 minus root 3. So, if we multiply this 5 minus root 3 into 2 minus root 3 divided by 2 plus root 3, 2 minus root 3. Again, a square plus, uh, minus b square. So, a square is 4 b square is 3. So, what is left with 4 minus 3 is 1 denominator, only the numerator part is left. So, we will multiply 5, multiply with 2 minus root 3 once, then minus root 3 will multiply with 2 minus root 3. So, what we get 5 twos are 10 minus 5 root 3 minus 2 root 3 plus root 3. So, what we get is 10 
रूट अच्छा हियर माइनस माइनस प्लस रूट थ्री होल स्क्वायर ओके रूट थ्री होल स्क्वायर इट वुड बी सो टेन माइनस सेवन रूट थ्री प्लस थ्री सो दैट मीन्स वी आर गेटिंग थर्टीन माइनस सेवन रूट थ्री सो इफ वी कंपेयर दिस विथ एक्स प्लस वाई रूट थ्री वॉट वी गेट इज एक्स इज इक्वल टू थर्टीन एंड वाई इज इक्वल टू माइनस सेवन एक्स इक्वल टू थर्टीन एंड वाई इज इक्वल टू माइनस सेवन सो दिस इज आवर करेक्ट आंसर so very well done students very well done so the next question i would be giving you as a homework as usual so the value of under root 3 minus 2 root 2 what is the value of this expression so you will give the answer of this on the comment box okay thank you so much i will be coming with such very very awesome videos with lot of questions for you all keep practicing see you in the next video thank you bye bye